in this video tutorial of SOLIDWORKS I am going to design this form here so let's do it first I am going to start the sketching on the front plane I am going to select sketch and select the front plane go to the circle and add two circles we will dimension them later and make sure the starting point of the circles are region the diameter of this circle is given as 2.25 and the diameter of this circle is given as 0.625 and exit the sketch go to isometric view features and extrude that sketch under the end condition I am going to select mid plane and no other extrusion will be half on one side of the sketch plane and half on the other side of sketch plane as you see in the preview so for the depth it's given as one okay now I am going to start the sketching on the right plane select the right plane and then start the sketching and go to normal now I am going to add a circle select the circle and then go to this edge when you go to this edge this edge will be shown in the different color and then start your circle the center of that circle must be this this is showing the midpoint of this edge and draw a circle The diameter of that circle is 0.625 and now I am going to add a center line from this draw that center line and exit the sketch now go to features and select the revolve extruded revolve cut as in the preview you see a cut will be made following that center this is the axis of revolution this center line we'll move to the next step I am going to display style and go to this style hidden lines removed and then again I am going to start this sketch from the right plane Press the space bar and select normal view. You can also select this normal view from here. Heads up tools. I'm going to add two center lines like that. Select the line tool and draw a sketch. Sorry, I'm going to mirror this sketch. I'm going to select this line, this line, this line. Make sure these four lines are selected and mirror it about this axis. Okay, and then exit the sketch. Now I am going to click on the valve cut, and for the axis of revolution, I'm going to select this one. Under the preview, you can see this material will be removed. to fillet it and cancel it go to 
grid chamfer and slip the two outside edges this one and this one and the type is angle distance this is point one this is point to fill it and fill it the radius of fillet is 0 0.6 sorry 0 0.0625 and select these four edges this one and this one and again sorry not this you can also do it by selecting the face, but not this face. Now I am going to move it to isometric view, front plane, and open the sketch on the front plane. Press the space bar and go to normal view. And I am going to activate the rectangle and just draw a random rectangle. Just zoom it by your, using your mouse, middle mouse button. <coughs> this dimension is given as 0.188 and I'm going to move this, this line with the reference of this region in the midpoint so I am going to press the control I am going to select this point and this line and make them midpoint but not coincident okay if it is uh, coincident it's midpoint and coincident with this point control this line and make the midpoint it will be in the midpoint of this region will be in the midpoint of this line and also coincident <coughs> no i'm going to drag it here no we needed to add dimension from this point this edge from this point to this line so if I slap this line and this edge this dimension will be a pair so the other method is to do that is uh, press the shift key slap this line and this edge know the dimension from this 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 line to this edge from this point from here will be selected like that hope so you got that point This dimension is given as 0 0.094, and we just needed to extrude it. But and under the end condition, make it two wall. So as you see, we selected through wall. It just put it in one side. So we needed to edit it, and under the direction two, I am going to also select through wall because our plane our right plane is in the middle that's why we needed to select the both directions and apply the materials edit the material and select this material okay it's done 